Welcome to this video on simplifying like terms. Now in maths you're going to get all sorts of pesky expressions like 2 plus 2 minus 1 when somebody could simply just say 3. It's the same for all sorts of things, not just numbers. You might say I have a banana and 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 so on. But it's much easier just to say I have 11 bananas. In the same way you could carry this on and I have an apple and an apple and some oranges. Again, much easier to say I have 11 bananas, 5 apples and 2 oranges. In other words, we're joining together all the things that are similar, all the bananas, all the apples, and all the oranges, just to make it easier for ourselves. But it's not just fruit that you can add together, you can do it with letters as well. For example, with X's. If you had two X's, and someone gave you another two X's, and then you took one of those X's away, you'd be left with three X's. And again, it's just a simpler way to write it. And that's what this video is about, making these expressions simpler. And we're going to do it with what's called like terms, which are things that are similar to each other. For example, bananas, apples, and X's. So let's look exactly into what is a like term. So you're going to see these big long strings of letters and numbers and some powers in here. And whenever you see one of these things, it's called an expression. Now a term, first of all, is a group of these numbers and letters that are separated by a plus and a minus. So for example, if we see a plus here, we can draw a line. And this one here at the start is a term. We get to another minus, we draw a line in front of it, this is another term. And so on in front of this plus, in front of this plus, in front of this minus, in front of this minus. And we can see here that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different terms. Now the key thing to remember is draw these lines before the plus and the minus. It's going to help you later down the track. Now your job is to figure out which ones of these terms are similar to each other or are like each other. And the trick of knowing what a like term is, is that a term that has the same letters involved. Now you can ignore the numbers for now. So let's look at the start. Here we've got an x squared and a y. If you look here, that's different, that's different, but we have an x squared and a y here as well. Here this has no letters at all, which is the same as this minus four, which also has no letters at all. Or here we have an x and a y squared. And you'll notice over here, we also have an x and a y squared, but they're in a different order. Now in this case, the order does not matter, just as long as they have the same letters and those letters have the same powers as each other. So that's what a like term means. And so we're going to be looking at how to simplify those and the steps to follow. Your first step is what we've just done. You're going to see an expression that looks like this, and you're going to split it into its terms. And the way you do that is draw a line before any pluses and any minuses. Once you've done that, we're going to identify which terms are like. We just go to the very first term here, which has an a and a b squared, and we see if any of the other terms have that. This one doesn't have an a and a b squared, neither does the last one, so this one does not have any other like terms. Let's look at the next one. We have an a squared and a b. And this final one also has an a squared and a b. So these two are like terms. The next thing I'd recommend doing, it's not essential, but it just reduces errors in exams a lot of the time, is write all of these terms out next to each other. These terms are already written out right next to each other, the two green ones, or the a squared b's and the ab squareds. So this is just a step we'll follow in the future. And the final step, number four, is we're going to join the like terms together by their numbers. Now you notice this has a plus three here, but this one has no number at all. So if there's no number in there, it means it's a one. So this would be minus one. This first one, there's no like terms to draw, so your answer, you just write the whole thing out. So four AB squared. And then the last two, we join together by the numbers. We have a plus three and a minus one. So three minus one makes positive two. So we write plus two. And we'll keep this A squared B afterwards as well. And that would be your final answer, your simplified expression. Let's look at a slightly bigger one now. So our step number one is split it up into terms. So we go through and see all the minuses or pluses and we draw lines in front of them all. Once we've done that, we identify which of these terms are like terms. So we start at the very beginning. We're going to see that there's an x squared y. We're going to go through and look, is there any other x squared y? It's not the same powers. This has an x squared y. And this is not x squared y. This is not x squared y. So then we go back to the next term. And we see this one has an x and a y squared. And we go around, and this one also has an x and a y squared, although in a different order like we saw before. So these two are like terms because they have the same letters and the same powers. And you'll notice the only one left is an x, and there are no other terms that just have a simple x with them. Our third step is to write these common terms together. So we're going to write out these x squared y's next to each other, and the x y squared's next to each other. And finally, we'll leave the x just by itself at the end. This is going to make our last step a little bit easier, which is joining the like terms together by adding or subtracting the two numbers at the start. And remember, if there's no number, it's a 1. So here we have a 9 plus 2, which is 11 of these x squared y's. Next, we have negative 4 of these x y squareds. And then if we added an x y squared, we're going to end up with negative 3 x y squareds. 
And finally, we just have one negative x. So we're just going to leave that negative 1x at the end. And therefore, you would have simplified this like term. We'll do one more example like this before looking at an exam question. Again, we're going to start by splitting this into its terms by putting these lines in front of the pluses or minuses. Second, we're going to identify any like terms. Now here we start with an x squared y. We're going to look and see are there any other x squared y's here. No, 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 and no. So there are no other like terms for this one. Next, we're going to look at a number. This one has no letters at all. If we look down the expression, we can see this has no letters at all either. So these two are like terms. Next, we're going to look at this xy squared. We can go across and see there is another xy squared. So these two are like terms as well. Next, we put common terms written out together. So we can write out this 3x squared y down below because there's no other like terms. We can see that these two numbers are going to go together, so minus 4 and plus 1, and that these two xy squareds are going to get written out next to each other as well. And your fourth step is going to be joining these terms together with their pluses and minuses by looking at the numbers. So here this has no other like terms, so we just write out 3x squared y. We can join together negative 4 and plus 1 to make negative 3. And we can join together plus 2 and plus 1. Remember, if there's no number, it's a 1 to make plus three of these xy squareds. This is how you simplify complicated expressions. Now there's one final challenge which can come up in exams and that they'll give you word problems and it's hard to understand what they're even asking you sometimes. So let's look at one of those now. In this example, Mrs. Green has a lawn here shown in green that has a gate down the bottom and she wants to put a fence all around the ungated area of this lawn. And our job is to show a simplified expression for the length of fencing that Mrs. Green would need. So first of all, we don't actually have an expression yet, so we need to write down what the length of the fence will need to be. And we've been told the lengths here. So this one at the top is 2x plus 4. This one down the side is 3x. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't know what 3x is or what 5y means. It doesn't matter. We're just going to write it out anyway. So we could start at the top and say, well, this length along the top would be 2x plus 4. This length down here would be 3x. We'd go across, it would be x, 5y, and down the bottom here is 4. But actually remember, in the question, it says she wants to put a fence around the ungated area of the lawn. So we wouldn't need a fence down the bottom here. So we can cross that one out. We can go up and add the 5y, the x, and the last 3x. And now we're back to where we started, near the top. So now we have our expression for the length of fence that would be needed. Now that we have an expression, we can simplify it. Starting at the beginning, we can look for anything which just has a simple x term by itself. So I've highlighted them all in orange here. Next, we can look, are there any numbers by themselves? So we have the plus four, and there's no other just numbers by themselves with no letters. And finally, we've got the y terms. We have a plus five y and a plus five y here. Now, if we wanted to be careful, we should write out all of these terms together, but just to save some time, I'm gonna to join together these two x's, and three x's make five x's, six x's, seven x's, and 10 x's in total. So we can write out 10 x's. Next, I'll look at the y's. So I've got five y's and add another five y's, I'm gonna end up with 10 y's. And finally, we just have a simple plus 4 at the end. So this would be our simplified expression. So here's everything you need to know from this video. First of all, you need to know that like terms are terms that have the same letters in them. And those letters need to have the same powers. And we learned steps of how to simplify these. The first of these steps is to take our expression and split it up into terms, which is putting a line in front of any pluses or minuses here. The second step is to identify those like terms. That is those that have the same letters with the same powers. We ignore numbers for now. So here we have a y and an x squared, and there are no other y's or x squareds in this expression. So there are no other like terms. Here we can see we have no letters at all, and this one has no letters at all either, so they are like terms. And here we have an x and a y squared, and we also have an x and a y squared. So these two are like terms. And the third step is if you want to be careful in an exam, I would recommend writing out all the like terms next to each other just to avoid errors. But you can also skip this step and just join together the like terms by adding or subtracting the numbers. And remember, if there is no number like here, it means the number is 1. And here we have no like terms, so we just write out this 3y x squared. Next, we have these numbers here. Negative 4 plus 1 makes negative 3. And finally, we have plus 2 and plus 1, which makes plus 3 of these xy squareds. And this would be our simplified expression. And that is everything you need to know for simplifying like terms.